Okay, I will put all the links to all the programs and files in the description box. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you free alternatives to popular commercial products. So first I'm going to show you this neat, well, it's Firefox and Mozilla Firefox. They have a whole slew of programs, but this is their definitely more famous one. As you can see right now, I am in Firefox. It doesn't crash, it's very stable, it's faster, and there's a lot, it's much easier to customize and add add-ons like this theme that I have on right now. Alright, so that's the alternative to Internet Explorer eyes, uh, or Safari. Um, next, I'm going to show you for audio editing. On a Windows computer, you don't really have anything, so you would use this program, Audacity, which is really, really nice program. It's really stable, and it's really in-depth. You can actually really get down to a couple milliseconds with this thing. If you're on a Mac, you can still use Audacity, but you can use GarageBand, which isn't as in-depth as Audacity, but it's more for splitting and splicing and combining and stuff like that. Now, for video editing on on a Windows computer, you got you got the Windows Movie Maker, which is great. But sometimes you need something a little more in depth where you have wax, which is very popular. A lot of people have trouble getting some files to work, but it's still good. If, other than that, you get you can get ZS4, which is similar. Uh, and then you have iMovie, like I said before. And wax is Windows only. ZS4 is Mac and Windows and iMovies on Mac. Uh, for image editing GIMP is definitely the way to go. GIMP's amazing. It's it's an exact copy of Photoshop and it, you can even download Photoshop keyboard shortcuts so it's the exact replica. So that one's extremely good. It were, It's cross-platform Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now Everyone likes Windows Magnifying Glass, but I personally think it's a pain in the butt. So there's a great pro program called Zoom It, which I'm using right now. If you notice, I zoomed it. Zoom it, zoom it, zoom it. It's really an awesome program. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Download Zoom It right off of Microsoft's webpage. Okay? Now, for 3D modeling, a lot of people would use 3DS Max or something to that degree. Um... For in-depth modeling, I would use Blender. Blender is Windows, Linux, and Mac, and two other one other operating systems that I am not don't have much knowledge of. Um, but if that's better for the actual modeling, if you're looking to animate, you're better off getting something like Daz 3D, which works with a timeline and and is available free and it comes with a couple free models when you get it and if you're looking to record your screen like I am doing right now I definitely suggest getting Cam Studio it's extremely stable it's really great it records up to a long time it's great for YouTube videos it's amazing you know on-screen annotations and everything so it looks like that I'm going to put the links in for the programs in the, the description box. So thank you for watching and please comment, rate, subscribe, suggest, question, whatever. Thank you for watching.